Hi, I'm Janice Merritt from JBM Think Sports Parenting Coach's Wife for 29 years at Sports Mom for 22. I was thinking about when my son played football in high school. He was a junior in his junior, in his uh, varsity season, and it was a very hard season for him. He had come off a of freshman and sophomore, and he had been starting quarterback, and you know, he was riding high, and then he came up to varsity, and he was sitting the bench because the the senior quarterback was all section, and there was no way that my son was going to be able to pass him up. So my son had a really rough season. There was more than one occasion when he was ready to quit. And so I was thinking, what did he need? What does your child need when they're going through this, when they're going through a season when either they're not playing a lot or they're not doing well, or it's just a, a hard season, a hard situation for them. What did he need? What does your child need? Well, my son just needed me to listen. That was one thing that I did. I just listened to him. We used to sit out in the, in the family room and he'd lay on the couch and he'd be moaning and groaning about this, that, or the other thing. And I just listened. I really didn't say a whole lot. I just, I did, I did say a few things, but, but a lot of it was just listening. And a lot of times that's what your child needs. They just need you to listen. They don't necessarily need your wisdom or your, or they definitely don't want your lectures. They just need you to listen. And that's hard to do because we want to jump in and start saying everything. But just remember that sometimes your child just needs you to listen. The other thing I think my son needed was my gentle reminders that hard work pays off and that persistence pays off and not to give up. Those kind of things. Your child does need to hear that from you. You know, those reminders of, hey, your hard work's going to pay off someday. I believe in you. I know that, it, you know, you keep working, something's going to happen. That's the kind of thing they need to hear, too, because that kind of gives them a little boost, like, okay, somebody believes in me. So that's the other thing your child needs from you. And I think that the child, what your child doesn't need from you when they're going through a hard season is you're, you're joining in to their their downward spiral. They don't need you complaining and moaning and groaning about the same things that they're complaining and moaning and groaning about. They just need you to be supportive and positive. And they don't want you to join in their spiral with them. I mean, they, they don't come home and vent to you so that you can turn around and vent with them. That's not why they're telling you. They're telling you because they need to vent. And so you joining in on their rant isn't really what they want because they just need to get it out. So I would encourage you to think about these things as your child is struggling with a hard season. Maybe she's on the bench more than she wants to. Maybe he's playing backup or triple backup or backup to the backup and it just doesn't look very good. So I just encourage you to remember these things and, and stay positive. Have a great week.